right, yo, what's going on, everybody? Um, I'm really doing this video. Uh, well, all my videos are unscripted, but I sort of ha have a plan and idea before I do one of my gaming videos. This one, I'm just going to share um, just my thoughts on what's going on uh, just in the country at this time. Um, I originally was just going to um, not really do a video too much on it. Um, I'm always uh, one to say actions speak louder than words because I'm very active in my community um, to make sure um, um, justice and injustice is, um, I want to say, attended to or, or addressed um, where I live. But what prompted me to make this video, um, on Twitter I saw uh, different companies, uh, particularly Sony, EA, Marvel, um, as well as Microsoft, come out with statements on what's going on in the nation, um, uh, particularly with uh, the death of uh, George Floyd. And um, first, just on the looting and the rioting and everything that's going on, uh, my perspective, um, I'm not an advocate of violence or stealing in any way, so don't misconstru misconstrue or twist what I'm trying to say. But part of me also feels it was it was almost had to be done to get the attention of the nation um, i say this because colin kaepernick uh, he protested peacefully um he was trying to protest peacefully the, br the brutality that um, officers um, were um, doing towards people of color and everyone was like it was disrespectful you shouldn't be doing that during the national anthem but if he didn't do it at that time no one would be pay attention and so he did it peacefully told him not to do it he was um taken out of the league and nba players began wearing shirts i can't breathe uh, peacefully protesting also um told uh that 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 they couldn't do it um and it's to the point of you keep getting ignored you keep getting ignored and the same thing happens um, I saw um, uh, someone post on Twitter that at one point you're going to snap. You're going to uh, um, do whatever you can to get the attention of the nation. And so that's what I really see going on. Um, and again, I, um, I'm not an advocate of violence, but um, I wonder if um, Sony would have made a statement if if all of all of these buildings aren't being burned all the protests all the chaos that's going on i wonder if ea even and i gave them credit i retweeted what those companies said um, because i give them credit for at least addressing the issue still waiting on nintendo <laughs> i got microsoft and sony they they've addressed the issue at least to acknowledge it and i and i have to give uh, credit to where credit is due Microsoft, they didn't just come out with a statement because of the current events, but they laid out a plan of what they've been doing even prior to what's going on right now, what they've been doing um, to address um, the, the, um, the not the chaos, but the, the injustices that are going on in our criminal justice system, that they've been a strong advocate for criminal justice reform. And uh, my hat's off to Microsoft, uh, to what they've been doing. This is a gaming channel, so I have to tie in what um, I see uh, in uh, the gaming community doing. And, and I have to just be honest, um, that does affect where I spend my money. Um, if I'm going to be um, gaming is a hobby to me. That's where my, I have a real job. Um, I have three master's degrees, and I, I'm not even going to go into the, all that. But this is a hobby to me. But I, I spend a lot of money <laughs> in gaming. <laughs> I, I have um, four Nintendo Switches. Uh, two, I have an Xbox X Series S. I bought the original Xbox, three of the this-gen Xbox. I had the original PlayStation, PlayStation 4 Pro. Tons of games on all my systems. And so I spend thousands but i'm almost at the point too um if i'm investing money and, and spending money in your company i do want to see some acknowledgement i do want to see um 
what are you doing in with the influence that you have to um, help the situation whether it's genuine or not um, Sony could just be scared I don't want y'all burning down our office buildings but at least you're acknowledging it and see what's going on and trying to do something um, for change um, and just um, where I'm at right now man I just wanted to come on um, again this is unscripted um, just so we could be a, more aware and a, a sort of a better understanding of that notion black lives matter um, I gave this example uh, to someone um, just imagine because I'm, I'm happily married six kids <laughs> and my wife uh, she comes to me and she says baby do you love me and my response is baby I love everybody how do you think she would feel she didn't ask me if I love everybody that goes without saying I love everyone but she wanted to know at this moment at this time do you love me and that's what the black Lives matters is all about um, I find it insulting um, whenever um, I see the hashtag all lives matter blue lives matter um, as a response to black lives matter it's insulting because you are ignoring um, the fact that I'm saying I'm not saying only black lives matter what I'm saying is black lives matter too and so when I see you responding and saying you're right black lives matter and just leave it at that I don't need to to also tell you all lives matter too because that's not what we're trying to hear we're trying to um, change what's just going on repeatedly I mean it's happening way too often too frequently of um, majority people of color just being um, abused and misused by uh, the police force and of course I don't think we could completely erase what's going on but I do think we can take steps and implement measures to lower the amount and to decrease uh, what's going on. Do I have all the answers? No. But um, I do think that policies and procedures um, can be in place and further reinforced and consequences being done um, to um, um, I want to say almost force police officers to think twice before they st um, kneel on someone's neck again. And and and, and don't get me wrong, I'm, I I can only imagine how hard it is to be a police officer, especially in some communities where there's just a lot of crime and you may be under a lot of stress. Um, but at the same time, it's not an excuse. It's not an excuse, and it's not um, a reason to just allow it to continue um, so um, I think I said everything that I wanted to say um, I'll check the comment sections um, and I'll try to respond as much as I can throughout the day um, to any questions you may have or concerns or any opinions you may have on the on the issue um, I'm very open-minded you have another perspective you present it respectfully I'm here to listen and have that dialogue um, but anything that's insulting or disrespectful um, I'll just delete it and, and you'll probably get blocked um, not for me because I really don't care what you say but I don't want it in my comment section and feed in and others start to feed into that hate um, so that's really it for this video um, uh, we have to um, just expect more expect more um, from our officials, our, our um, those who we put in in place, um, because it's 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 crazy right now. Things are things are crazy, but I think things can be um, get better if we get to the root of what's going on. Um, and I and I just want to end with this. I see it um, so often. I see a, a lot of uh, responses to the looting. 
and saying, oh, they shouldn't be looting and that's horrible. How can they do this? And that's fine. My, I'm asking you, to, do you have that same energy when you saw the officer kneeling on his neck? That it's fine to be upset with the looting. There's nothing wrong with that. Uh, you shouldn't be stealing. But your outrage for the looting, your outrage for the killing of a human being should surpass someone stealing a vacuum cleaner. I'm just keeping it a buck. Um, 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 that's just where I'm at and with, with what I uh, see, see going on in our country. Um, I think I went long enough. Um, feel free to share your thoughts in this video. Uh, we'll be back to gaming tomorrow. Um, I wasn't really in the mood to, to do a news video um, unless something real crazy like um, Sony um, reveals the console design, something like that. Other than that, if a, a game is leaked or something, I'll talk about it tomorrow. Um, I'm more in a chill mood today. Um, I'm almost in a... Y'all saw that the dude from Reading Rainbow, what he tweeted? <laughs> they got everybody riled up. I'm almost in that mood today. <laughs> Today's not the day, bro. Um, I'm probably just, I'll, I'm probably still going to be gaming on my um, gaming channel because that channel I'm a little bit more chill. I'm probably just going to be playing some Spider-Man and just just chilling. All right, man. Um, I'll see y'all later. Peace.